Good afternoon to our PGA Hope family. Uh, this is Todd Daniel. I'm your PGA Golf Professional from TPC Stonebray. I've been volunteering with the Hope Program for about five years now out of Metropolitan Golf Club and Pleasanton Golf Range. So um, today I want to provide you with something um, to use on a daily basis, hopefully, but anytime you're thinking about trying to improve your game, the one thing you can do at home, and don't, you don't have to be at the golf course, is to stretch. Stretch out the muscles and the joints that you use in the golf swing. Everybody's limitations uh, are different. So if you cannot do some of these, just shorten it up and do what you can. Uh, ideally, uh, a comfortable uh, pressure on whatever joint muscle you're stretching. And then you always breathe. Never hold your breath. You want to breathe in deeply and exhale through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and that will really help you loosen up the muscles and relax, okay? So if you can't do a uh, full rotation, if you have an issue with a joint, uh, a muscle, um, it's okay. And it, anytime you're swinging that golf club, you're, you're working on uh, what you have to work with, okay? So first of all, what we're going to try to do, um, before you get out of bed, do your best to stretch before you get out of bed. Why? Because you have been resting for five, six, seven, eight hours, maybe more, maybe a little less, but your body is not uh, supporting the weight on your feet. So your body's in a very relaxed position. Um, so go ahead and stretch your hands as far away from your feet as possible while you're laying in the bed. Put your hands up. Um, as you stretch that way, then you're gonna turn around and actually take your hands and bring them down to your toes. You're gonna bend from the hips and put your hands down towards your, your toes. If you can put your hands on your toes, grab them, pull them, great. If you can only get to your shins or your knee, that's fine too. Once you get to that place where there's a comfortable uh, pressure on low back, on the back of the legs, maybe on the hamstrings, on the or excuse me, on the on the calves, then you're going to begin to breathe. And as you exhale, you're going to stretch a little bit more, okay? Try to hold those stretches or any stretch you do, 15 seconds to two, three minutes. And eventually, as you get into this, you can actually hold them for half an hour or an hour. Bring your foot. So if you're sitting in your bed, you could turn to the side and bring your heel to your rear end and grab your ankle and pull it towards your rear end. Keep your knee, knee backwards and pull backwards, stay nice and tall, okay? Do that in the bed, fantastic. Your body's relaxed. So we stretched our legs. Um, next, what we wanna try to do, again, if you have a golf club in your house, in your room, go ahead and grab that club or um, a broomstick or whatever you may have or nothing, right? You don't have to have a club. I like to have the club because you're looking at a golf club, you're thinking about golf and you're saying, wow, if I twist, I hold my hands on the outsides and I twist, I'm thinking about what is this doing in my golf swing? So what I'm really trying to do is turn my shoulders without turning my head. Keep my eyes forward. When I turn my shoulders as far as I can go and then go the opposite direction. Keep your head forward so you can still see the camera, still see uh, what's in front of you. And then you can move it a little bit faster as you do that a few times, getting the blood flowing. You're beginning to use the muscles. Okay, you're kind of in a golf posture there, making the turn. That gets the blood flowing. You should begin to feel like you're breathing uh, to try to catch your breath a little bit. That's meaning that the, the heart's pumping and the blood is flowing and you're getting all those impurities out that you're stretching out of those muscles that have been sitting for a few hours. Um, next, a great stretch, hands against the wall, push one leg back, push the heel to the ground, bend the front leg, get that stretch in that nice straight leg uh, in the calf and the hamstring and the low back and do the opposite leg as well. Uh, take your golf club. Um, you can put your hands on the wall, hands on the doorknob, hands on your club, put your club straight on the ground. And what you wanna do is have straight legs, back up a little, club on the ground, hands on top or grab the doorknob. Um, broom on the sides and push your rear end away from the club and lean the club out 
or push the doorknob away, get your head between your elbows, okay? Okay? That's a huge way to get the shoulders stretch out the upper body and the lower body. If you do this on a regular basis, you'll find that when you get to the driving range, you jump out of your car, sometimes we're running a little late, sometimes we get there really early. Uh, but you want to be ready, your body should be ready to get there when you go down the stairs out of your house or uh, up the stairs to the golf course or walking with your clubs on your shoulders or to getting your clubs to your golf cart. You need to be ready for those things because the worst thing we can do is have an injury. By stretching every day, doing some of these stretches, I think you're going to find that you will be more golf fit and you will improve your game uh, every day you go out and play. Uh, please, if you have any questions about any of this, this information, please contact your local PGA professional. Feel free to contact Northern California PGA section office and we can get you in touch with someone who can help you with your game, answer your questions, and help you enjoy the game more. Thank you so much. God bless.